as Professor Dumbledore has said, a magic beyond all we do here. So without further ado, let's begin by warming our voices. things going. Do we have any Slytherin here this evening? How about Ravenclaws? Hufflepuffs? And of course, where are the Gryffindors? Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Now, of course, we can't forget about the Muggles. Any Muggles here with us this evening? Muggles? Oh, there's a few. Some brave hands going up in the air. How many of you came out to the event last year? Make some noise. Well, that is awesome, and we're definitely happy to say that we brought back some of your favorites from last year and added some brand new content as well. First, we have the Expo, located in Soundstage 33. It's jam-packed with lots of new activities for fans of all ages. We've got Q&A sessions with film talent and other special guests right here at the Music Plaza stage that you don't want to miss. How many first years or aspiring witches and wizards do we have with us here tonight? I know, me too, me too. We've got very special sessions geared just for kids, including a special trivia session, as well as a chance to learn how to dance like a Bobaton or battle like a Durmstrang. We're also very excited that for the first time here at a celebration of Harry Potter, we're giving you a chance to meet some of the Harry Potter film talent with autograph opportunities. Be sure to arrive early and get here very early for a chance to receive a ticket. You can find out more details online at UniversalOrlando.com and there are even house meetups where you'll have a chance to meet with fellow Gryffindors, Slytherins, Hufflepuffs, and Ravenclaws. On the count of three, tell me who your house is. One, two, three! All right, I like them all. Make sure to wear your house colors all throughout the weekend. Are you guys ready to get this party started? 
Are you guys ready to get this party started? Make some noise out there. Yes. Let's kick things off. We'd like to introduce some of our very special guests all the way from London. Please welcome Alex King from Pottermore, which continues to the light of soul with J.K. Rowling's brand, new writing from the Wizarding World, Alex. Hi, Alex, how are you? I'm really well, thank you. She says hi, everyone. Everybody say hi, Alex. Alex, can you tell us a little bit about the Pottermore booth at the Expo? What's going on there this weekend? Um, well, this weekend is all about showing and sharing your house pride. Um, as many of you probably know, there's a sorting ceremony on Pottermore, which um, the questions were devised by J.K. Rowling herself. And when you take that sorting hat test, you find out which Hogwarts house you truly belong to. And so we want people to come down to the Pottermore booth, display in your house colours, and stand in front of your house common room to have your photo taken. And it will be a magical moving photo. And then we would love for you to share your house pride on social media, whether it's Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and tag your picture with your house pride hashtag. So that would be either Gryffindor pride, or Slytherin pride, Hufflepuff pride, or Ravenclaw pride. And we also have a video booth where we would love for you to come and talk to us and um, tell us, uh, we've got some questions, which is for you to share your love of Harry Potter. So we really hope to see you there and come and talk to us. We really want to meet you all. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear it for Alex. Thank you, Alex. <laughs> Next, ladies and gentlemen, we have Andy Nicholson from Warner Brothers Studio Tour London, a unique attraction that offers visitors a chance to get up close to authentic sets of the Harry Potter films. Let's welcome out Andy. Andy, good to see you. Tell us what's new with the Studio Tour London booth this year. Well, we we're really excited to be back with all these amazing fans. And what we're trying to do is just give them a snapshot of everything that's offered at the Studio Tour. So first of all, we're reminding them all that we are the home of the Harry Potter film series and that's where all the films took place. We're showing them the amazing detail up close of all the props. And although we can't move the great hall that we have for our visitors on the studio tour over here, we're giving them just a bit of a sneak preview of what it's like to actually open those amazing doors and step into the great hall. We're having a great time. Well, it looks fantastic. I got an opportunity to check it out earlier. And if you haven't been over to do the tour yet, make sure you go see this phenomenal exhibit. Let's hear for Andy. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. Thank you, Andy. And now, how many of you consider yourselves wand duelers? You're pretty proficient. All right, I see a lot of hands going up there. Well then, you'll have to test your skills at the dueling demonstrations throughout the weekend. To talk a little bit more about these, please welcome the world's only wand combat choreographer, Mr. Paul Harris. How are you doing, Paul? Awesome, so glad to have you back here with us this year. I think I can say that we're all excited to learn a little bit more about proper wand dueling techniques. But first, tell us about your connection to Warner Brothers Studio, the tour in London, and uh, can you tell us a little bit about what's coming up in March? Sure, well, um... I was the choreographer that created and devised the physical language for fighting with the wand uh, and I specifically choreographed the entire uh, battle sequence of Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix and as such there's an interactive station with me at the Warner Brothers Studio Tour London where visitors can learn, learn one combat movements and actually have an interactive duel with me there. So tell us a little bit about what fans are in store for this particular weekend. What will you be taking them through? I'll be in this venue with hopefully this amount of people. I'll be taking the, uh, the, uh, the visitors through the exact same training sequence that I did with all of the actors for uh, the Order of the Phoenix with the techniques that were then subsequently used for all the remaining films. Well, I think everybody here is looking forward to that. Yes, Wandulers? Paul, well, thank you so much. We'll see you here throughout the weekend. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, do you have one more thing you'd like to say? In March of this year, the Warner Brothers Studio Tour London will be unveiling the actual steam locomotive that was used as the Hogwarts Express. So visitors will be able to 
I uh, have another interactive experience on the actual train that was the Hogwarts Express. I think we're looking for. I didn't even know that myself. Thank you so much. Up top, let's hear from Paul Harris, ladies and gentlemen. All right, our next guest, please welcome back this year, illustrator Kazu Kiboishi. Kazu illustrated the new covers of the Harry Potter books from Scholastic, the American publisher. Please welcome out Kazu. Welcome back, Kazu. Now, uh, tell us about what we can expect at the illustration of Harry Potter panel tomorrow. I'm actually going to draw something for you guys. Um, I um, I painted the uh, the Harry Potter covers, the new ones, um, digitally. Uh, so I actually started and ended uh, in the computer, and so I'm going to be able to do that on the screen here. Uh, when I think it'll be on the big screens here, and you get you get to see the process of it tomorrow. So you'll be while you're drawing, you'll be explaining some of the processes that are happening as well. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll um, I'll be taking. Uh, I think I'll be taking some questions uh, if they can field them, and then uh, I'll just be talking with you guys. It'll be like you know playing the piano or something at the lounge. You know, I, that's kind of how it is for me when I when I paint. I just like to talk and paint. So that's what's going to happen tomorrow. Talking and painting tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen, Kazu. Thank you so much, Kazu. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Eddie Newquist from Harry Potter, the exhibition, a touring exhibition of Harry Potter props and costumes. Please join us. Hi, Eddie. Very good, thank you. How are you? Great, thank you very much. All right, here's our question for you, Eddie. Tell us a little bit about Harry Potter, the exhibition booth. What's actually happening in that booth? Well, first of all, how many people here got a chance to get sorted by the sorting hat? All right, so that, that comes from Harry Potter the Exhibition, and Harry Potter the Exhibition is touring the world. Uh, we've been in Singapore, we've been in Tokyo, we've been in Sydney, Australia, and uh, right now we're in Cologne, Germany, um, but we're going to be in Paris April 4th. That's when we open in Paris, Harry Potter the Exhibition, so if you want to get sorted, or if you want to see the exhibition and the 300 artifacts we have there, um, you can check that out, but we're so thrilled to be here at the Expo. Great partners, Universal's awesome. The talent that they brought together here is just, just terrific. So hopefully everybody has a blast. Well, I think everybody's having a pretty good time right now. Would you agree, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you so much, Eddie. We're looking forward to seeing you all weekend. Yes, sir. And finally, we have the amazingly talented graphic designers from Mina Lima. Please welcome Mirafor Mina and Eduardo Lima. We want to welcome both of you guys back. Very excited to have you here. And we've heard that you've been very busy since last year's celebration. In fact, we hear that you've played a role in creating the new land, which is located right here at Universal Orlando, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, Diagon Alley. Can you share a bit about that experience and your involvement? Well, when we finished 10 years of working on the film productions, we kind of weren't ready to let go. So it was such an honor to get asked to work on, on the theme park. Um, together with Universal and the old team from the filmmaking. Um, we, our, our role was to design all the signage uh, and advertisements, hanging signs, some of the shop graphics. So all that top layer that you see in the park is, is from our team. Well, now, yeah, what's fantastic. Great. And when you go there now, it's amazing. And you feel that you are really inside Mount Dion Island. Brilliant. Who's been over to Diagon Alley? Who's experienced that? What you see is what they've given you. You were going to say one more thing. No, I was just going to say, when we first walked in, because we designed everything from afar, we did get quite emotional, um, because it threw us back to the first days of being on film production. So. Well, we're looking forward to seeing a lot more of that, and a lot of our talent and our celebrities had the same experience that you guys did, so let's give them a big round of applause, and thank you for your contributions. We'll see them throughout the weekend. Now... Let's thank the guests that were just on stage. Let's give them a big round of applause. And we're definitely looking forward to seeing all the events that are happening this weekend. And I only have really one more question for you guys. Do you want some more? Are you sure you want more from the world of Harry Potter? Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome our next guest. This is the actress who portrayed one of our favorite Harry Potter's.
big round of applause for the actors who portrayed two of the biggest pranksters in the Wizarding World. We're talking about James and that we want to introduce to everybody. Come on up, gang. Okay, now, ladies and gentlemen, I know everybody's anxious to meet our final guests for the panel today, and unfortunately they are, well, they're running a little bit late. I understand they had some uh, trouble with travel some flight delays and whatnot, but, uh, oh wait, oh I'm sorry, I think they're here right now, let's, uh, let's see who we've got with us today. Come on in! Delighted to be here because Hogwarts is home. Now, as many of you have heard, uh, Robbie has taken ill and is resting, and we all wish him a speedy recovery and hope to see him up and about very soon. He sends his regrets uh, over not being able to be with us here today. So let's give a big round of applause to our friend Robbie Coltrane, ladies and gentlemen. Speedy recovery to Robbie. Well, first of all, welcome to all of you. So good to see everyone here again. And of course, Michael, this is your first experience with us. Yes, I'm And uh, while, while we do have the panel here with us, this is just a brief introduction. And while we will also give you guys the opportunity to ask questions throughout the weekend, we're gonna ask our panel one question right now and then we're gonna say goodnight to them. But of course, they will be here with us all weekend long. So. There are a lot of fans out here today. There's so much to see and do while we're here at this celebration of Harry Potter. The first question would be, what are you looking forward to seeing this weekend? We'll start at the end with Ivana. Um, I'm so excited to see the cosplays, the costumes. Because I, well, I've been tweeting quite a lot of you and you've been showing me your costumes and they all look so cool and you've obviously put a lot of work into them. And I see some Lunas, which I'm thrilled about. Um, so yeah, I'm just looking forward to meeting you all and to finally get on Gringotts because it's always broken every time I try to write it. So. All right. Hello, everyone. Hello. Uh, this weekend, I'm really looking forward to the Super Bowl. Uh, uh, no, I'm, I'm really, I'm just really glad to be back here and just seeing, you know, seeing everyone coming out and saying hello and and uh, just seeing you guys, to be honest with you, like I we think, have such a great time when we're here. I think as well also checking in on the uh, the Weezy's Wizard Weezy's shop down in Diagon Alley, got to get that in. And, uh, and I really enjoyed riding the, the Hogwarts Express last time we were here, so to do that again, that would be really cool. All right, thank you so much. Now, of course, Michael, this is your first experience here with us at the celebration of Harry Potter. So specifically, since you're you're new to us here, well, what no, are you it, looking forward to seeing? No, it's the second time. I've been the here. second time for you at in Universal. Yeah, when they open, I, mean, I can't ever tell you. 
Five years ago. Correct, when the first attraction opened, yeah, yes. And now we've kind of ch we've changed things up a bit. Yeah. We're making it more of a of an expo for people to see specific things that are going yeah, on, yeah. on how the making and the costumes and whatnot. Anything that you're looking forward to seeing well, yourself? I, I, just, I just really would like to have my costume on now. <laughs> <laughs> because I had, I had a great big wig down here, lovely. Right down here. And I had a complete beard down to my stomach. And, and a moustache, and eyebrows, and now look at me, you know. <laughs> Not like Dumbledore at all. And I had everything, I had everything, lovely robes and shoes. So I'd like that again, please. I'd like it now. <laughs> it's, it's hard to deny it when Michael says I would like something right now. So did you, did you take anything from the set when the movies were all done? Did they let you keep anything? Uh, well, we all took things secretly. <laughs> He did. I saw him with something. But I, I took one of the wands. Although we were we were told not to touch them, but I, I, I you know, don't tell anyone. But, uh, so I've got that at home. I might put it up for auction. I think we might all bid on that one. So. It would be so fun to sit here and just talk with everybody for hours on end, but I know we've got a very busy weekend ahead of us. This was just a very brief meet and greet, but I think you guys will uh, agree with me that it is fantastic having these four on stage, and we're definitely looking forward to having the four of them with us this weekend. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give our panel a big round of applause. The of James, Oliver, Michael, thank you so much. And as a reminder, be sure to follow the event on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram using the hashtag HP Celebration to keep up to date on everything that is involved with the weekend's events. We've got surprises planned, so you'll definitely want to be in the know, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see everyone here tomorrow at 9 a.m. What time does it start? 9 what time does it start? 9 what time are you going to be here tomorrow? That's at the Expo at Soundstage 33. Ladies and gentlemen, have a great night and enjoy the celebration. Give yourselves a big round of applause.